or his temple, at least, okay? But don't go. I see a lot of guys doing stuff like this. I knew a guy who used to headbutt stop signs to practice. Uh, that's another thing you don't want to do. Don't headbutt the bag. You don't need to practice it. But you'd be surprised at things people tell me they do. I come in here. Now, someone asked about footwork. I usually go right side forward. All right, if you do this, you lose a little bit of the range. Um, but, you know, we're not going to get caught up in that today. Do whatever feels comfortable. One, two, three, bang. There's the headbutt. All right, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cradle him in here. I want to keep him tight. And then once I've got him secured in here, I'm just going to take his head and bring him down this way. All right, just relax, sir. I'm going to bring him down here, right to the ground. Okay, and then we're going to follow this up in one second. All right, here's where we're having some problems. When I snap this back, my left arm keeps him in tight. All right, so the right arm is here. The right arm came back to collapse. Now my right arm's going to come up because I don't want to cross here. When you do it, I want you, you, you bookies, to relax a little bit. If you're going into this, all right, I'm just going to let go here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going into a, uh, a guillotine, or sometimes we call it a stomach choke. This is good. It's just not what we're doing. All right, so I'm not. If I'm in this position, I'm not really going to take him to the ground by spinning him. I would just fall back and take him with me. What I'd like you to do for today is when you get to this position, hold the, the head, push it down this way. And if you need to, take your left hand and pull that way. It becomes more of a garuma, a wheel throw. Here. All right, and this is really where I want to be in this position. God did not make elbows to tip beer mugs. It was just a, it was just a happy benefit. <laughs> Oh, you came down nice, thanks. made that look good. Well, I figured I'd be knocked out already. I don't think you'd put it back. should have been. I just I just need sandwich tape between my legs. I've got the other one. Some of you guys have had my classes before, um, but I just want to go over a few things really quickly, then I want to get into some knife versus knife work, and we'll, we'll kind of keep it sort of in the same flavor we did this morning. We'll add some little lock-ups, a couple of quick disarms, so you, you'll get kind of the total attacker, not here, here, it's a, perceptually, it's a little bit harder to pick up the blade when it's coming in this way as opposed to this way. Okay, so let's work off a two-part attack. I want you to get in your fighting stance here, knife forward. I want you to lunge forward and thrust. And then as you come back, cut down. One way, again, another way could be to come here. All right, I kind of prefer the first one if we can. So we're gonna cut and bring it back. Okay, so we're gonna go from here, the motion comes across this way. All right, so it's gonna be cut and cover. You might cut again, you might cut again, you might go to empty hand. All right, so let's just do that one real quick, like two minutes, and then we're going to add some follow up to all of this. Twist and pull here. Okay, that could be thought of as a headbutt, but I actually just want you down. I want you to take it right to the ground. Okay, where you can do any kind of follow up you need to. Okay, and something unexpected happens, your foot knows to go to the brake. Okay? So it's the same idea here, it just requires practice. So now at this point here, I've cut, covered, you know, I'm coming up here, maybe, you know, you might need to kick him again. You might need to kick him, all right? I make the strip, and on the root, we come into that, just by accident. All right, you don't do anything intentionally. Accidentally, you know, when it gets his throat. You don't get a practice, it's the lawyers, you know? All right, so again, we have one, two, three, four, five. Back again to this if I want.